Hey second graders, today we have deep dive number one of module three. Module three, lesson one. Deep dive. Can you believe we're already on module three? That's exciting. You will need your notebook today and a pencil. Today we're going to look at prefixes again and we'll be focusing on the word in justice. Take a look at the two words we have here. We have fair, fair, and unfair. What is different about these two words? Right, one of them has the prefix un, and the words have opposite meanings. How do you use the prefix? This is our prefix. Let me use a color we can see. Our prefix again is that small part of a word. It comes at the beginning of a base word. So we have un. How did you use the prefix to determine the meaning of the word unfair? If we separate un and fair, we can ask ourselves, well, what does the word fair mean? And then what does un mean? And un means not. So unfair would be not fair. Let's look at this word. This word is injustice. Injustice. Do you see a prefix in this word? Yep, we have in, I-N is a prefix. In, just like with un, as a prefix, also sometimes means not. So the word justice, or fairness, and then if we put in in front of it, we could say not fair, or not just. So justice again means fairness. If we put in in front of it and turn it to injustice, and it's not fairness. Okay, you have three words to add to your response section. Incorrect, incomplete, and inactive. So in your notebook, I'll add a page and pretend I'm writing in my notebook. In your notebook, we are going to write what these three words mean. Oops, let's do this. Okay, so our first word again was incorrect. What do you think incorrect means if the prefix in means not? And write what you think incorrect means. Our second word is incomplete. Again, break it apart into your prefix and your base word. Think about what complete means. Think about what in means as a prefix. And what could incomplete mean? Write what it means next to it. And then we have one more, inactive. Again, I'm not giving you the answers because I want you to think about it on your own. But with inactive, again, our prefix is in, base word active. Think about what active means. If in means not, that should help you come up with a definition for inactive. 
once you have those three words and what each of them means, we will move on to adding another word, but this time to our vocabulary section. I think that's the yellow tab. If you have space still. If not, just find an empty page. Vocab. We're going to add the word injustice to our vocabulary section. Injustice. This is going to be an important word during our module three lessons. Okay, injustice means something that is not fair. Remember, in means not, justice means fairness. So injustice is something that is not fair. When you're done adding that to your vocabulary section, you will be done with the deep dive for today.